We live in a massive bubble. This is what lies beyond our solar system. Astronomers have known for decades that the solar system is located within the so-called local bubble, a vast void surrounded by thousands of young stars. However, much remains unknown about this bubble, including its precise size and shape, as well as its origins and evolution. So do we really live in a giant bubble? And how exactly does our solar system work? Curious? Let's find out. Mankind appears to have studied the solar system in great detail, if not completely. For a long time, the planets have been identified, rovers have been traveling on Mars, comets and asteroids have been almost counted by name, and even soil from one of them has been taken and delivered to Earth for research. But this is where the scientists were taken aback. It turns out that our entire solar system, including the far-off Oort cloud located the light year from the Sun, is encased in a massive bubble. It has a radius of 1,000 light years. What's more, our sun is practically in the middle of this bubble. Researchers investigated this bubble in a new study and discovered some surprising new insights into how this bubble promotes star formation, according to study lead author Catherine Zucker, an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. All nearby star-forming regions lay exactly on the local bubble's surface. We happened upon this discovery entirely by chance. They hope to create a map of the major landmarks in the solar system's galactic neighborhood with the research. They looked at the three-dimensional positions, shapes, and motions of dense gases and young stars within 650 light-years of the Sun. The sheer number of dimensions required to build a true 3D physical picture of star formation on the bubble surface was one of the most challenging aspects of the research, Zucker said. The study involved mapping three spatial dimensions, three motion dimensions, and a time dimension. We can now literally rewind the clock and see how these star-forming regions evolved over millennia. According to Zucker, most of our traditional understanding of stellar birth has been based on static 2D images of star-forming regions. The scientists were able to reconstruct the chain of events that led to the formation and growth of the local bubble by analyzing the motions of these young stars. They discovered that these stars were mostly moving away from the bubble's surface, implying that they were moving as the bubble expanded over time. The space-time animation created with a trove of new data and data science techniques depicts how a series of supernovae the first exploded 14 million years ago, pushed interstellar gas outwards, creating a bubble-like structure with the surface ripe for star formation. The researchers discovered that about 14 million years ago, a series of about 15 catastrophic star explosions known as supernovae began near the center of the local bubble. The supernova explosions triggered a shockwave, and this expanding shockwave swept up a shell of dense cool gas that is the surface of the local bubble. Zucker explained, on the bubble's surface today are seven well-known molecular clouds, dense regions in space where pockets of gas may collapse to form stars. Astronomers have long hypothesized that supernovae can sweep up gas into dense clouds that eventually form new stars. But the researchers in this study were surprised to discover that almost every new star near the sun is forming on the surface of the local bubble, the researchers said in an email. Essentially, we can explain how all nearby star formation began, providing very strong observational support for this long-held theory of supernova, driven star formation where stellar death can trigger stellar birth. Zucker said, according to the new findings, a supernova associated with the bubble has exploded roughly every million years since the first one exploded about 14 million years ago. We believe we know which clusters were responsible for the supernovae that powered the bubble's expansion. These two clusters, known as Upper Centaurus Lupus and Lower Centaurus Crux, in the famous So Sun Stellar Association, formed very close to each other 15 million to 16 million years ago. So all the stars in these two clusters are roughly the same age, Zucker said. The stars in these two clusters have a variety of masses. The stars that were large enough to explode as supernovas have the shortest lifetimes. The most massive stars will go supernova first, followed by the less massive stars, Zucker predicted. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before we'd like to know what are your views about this massive bubble, let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.